Um, I'm Bernadette Stockwell. I'm the Director of Development for the Claflin Hill Symphony Orchestra. And this morning, I am speaking with Eric Lederber, who is CHSO's principal trumpet player, trumpet? trumpeter, I guess. And um, he is going to be featured on our next upcoming concert, which is Goulash Delight. And I asked Eric if he'd meet with me this morning to share a little bit about the Aratunian Trumpet Concerto, um, which is what he's going to be playing. And Eric, anything in particular that you want to say about this particular particular piece. Yes, I do. Thank you, Bernadette. And thank you for um, for wanting to, to talk this morning. So the Eratunian Trumpet Concerto is written in 1950 by Alexander Eratunian, who was an, an Armenian composer. And um, I first started to get to know this piece actually when I was in high school. Um, when I was in high school, we would have our auditions for district ensembles. That's when the, you are in high school and you can, you know, audition for groups that bring various students together from other high schools and they have I grew up in New Jersey but they have the same thing in Massachusetts and um, I believe this was my senior year in high school that this was the piece you had to prepare and um, so I've I've known the piece a long time now and spent some and been able to spend some time with it and it's just wonderful to revisit the piece um, the piece is a it's a real tour de force it um, shows all aspects of of trumpet playing and um there it's it starts with this um this beautiful strong opening that really shows the power of the trumpet and um it's more in a cadenza like a cadenza kind of style at the beginning you know a piece usually ends with a cadenza so people can show off some fancy playing and this kind of starts that way and then it um it just goes through a story um and it has some really fast technical playing, but it also has two beautiful um, slow melodic sections that really get to show off what the uh, what the trumpet can do. And then, of course, it ends with a, another kind of the way it started with another huge cadenza at the uh, at the end of the piece piece. And uh, it's a little different from some other concertos, which would be in separate movements. You might mm-hmm. have a fast movement, a slow movement, and then a fast movement again. There's no break in between these movements. And it's just so it's one long, continual piece. Um, so no break, but it's, uh, but it's uh, you know, certainly, uh, I think, really pleasing for a listener and, and really exciting as well. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's excellent. Good to know. And in the limited amount of research that I did, I learned that it is in one long movement. So the whole piece is about 15 minutes long. That's what I found in most of the recordings, some little longer. I guess it depends on how fast you get through it. (laughs) Um, And do you find it's exhausting because there are no movements? Often we see Paul up on the podium and he'll get to the end of a movement. Very often the audience applauds. However, that's not what we sometimes want because the piece, whatever it is, needs to keep going. And this pause between movements gives the musicians a chance to take a breath. I often see Paul, he'll he'll hold up on Fun. and wait and then slowly set it down and then he'll <laughs> wipe his brow. So <laughs> how do you get through something that is that long, over a quarter of an hour long? Yeah, I think fortunately there are in between each of those little sections, there's a little orchestral interlude. So you can you can catch your breath at that point. And uh, but it does it, you know, it does keep the piece moving along. And um, I think it's one of those pieces, too, that's just really, um, you know, really nice for a listener. And and mm-hmm. as I said, it, it, it uh, you know, we think about when either we're playing a piece or even sometimes when we're speaking, you know, telling a story of what we want to get through through the music. And um you know, I, I do feel like this piece really lends itself to that with not being broken up and uh, just mm-hmm. one continual piece. And and again, as I said, it's got a variety of different styles in it, which really which really showcases, um, you know, not only what the soloist can do, but I think what the 
orchestra can do as well. Claflin Hill presents Goulash Delight, Saturday, February 3rd at 7.30 p.m. More information at claflinhill.org.